Hi, everybody. Greg Wilkins back here with you with another edition of The Daily Pause, a devotional of positivity and encouragement for Saturday, April 9th, 2022. As always, I pray that you not only have a very blessed day today, but that today's devotional will help encourage, inspire, motivate you, and put a smile on your face as well. Make sure to check us out, like us, and follow us on my Facebook page, The Daily Pause, my YouTube channel, Greg Wilkins, my Twitter page, Greg at Greg Wilkins 78, where you can leave your comments, devotional topic requests, any birthday or anniversary shout outs for your friends and loved ones, any audio or video performances that you would like to submit to be a part of the Daily Pause devotional, or to catch up on any of the videos, the videos, <laughs> devotionals that you may have missed in the past. I thank you all for your support and your prayers in this devotional, and I pray that every devotional that you watch will continue to be an encouragement and a blessing to your day. Let's continue our countdown to Easter with today's devotional entitled, Didn't See That Coming. Now, those of you who have watched these devotionals in the past know that I mentioned two TV shows quite often, one of them being Law & Order Special Victims Unit, the other being the original NCIS. Well, I have another example from the show NCIS, and it's about season four, and there was a group of children, about 10 years old, they were doing a tour of the NCIS grounds, and Abby was doing a demonstration of their APHIS fingerprint system on one of the kids, and it turned out that kid came up kidnapped. And because it was too late in the day to send him to social services, they had to keep him in custody, and they couldn't send him home to his mother, or let his mother to come pick him up because she was technically a stepmother and they can't release a child to someone who's not the natural biological parent. So she, uh, he ended up staying up with Director Shepard for the night. The next morning, they were tracking down his father, who was not only wanted for kidnapping, but was wanted for murder, it turned out. And they found out he has a satellite phone because he does wilderness training in the wilderness in Virginia that's his specialty. And they sent Ziva and Tony out to go intercept him, but he was gone. His, they found a satellite phone that was in the back of a truck. He was nowhere to be found. And they're trying to figure out how he may have known. So they went to the kid and Director Shepard, who was in his office, and Agent Gibbs asked the director, let me see your phone. I said, what are you doing? And he just said, your satellite phone bill just went up. And she says, well, that explains where my cell phone went. And the little kid says, right before it goes to commercial, am I gonna go to jail? And it comes back on from after commercial and the little kid's sitting in an interrogation room. And those of you who have watched the show know that Agent Gibbs is a bulldog in the interrogation room. If you broke the law, you broke the law. And so far, he's hindered in the investigation of a kidnapping and a murder. And he stole from the director of a, an agency, a military agency. So he's in trouble, <laughs> whether you're 10 or not, he's in trouble. He had to pay for the crime that he committed. So Agent Gibbs comes in and he stares at the kid and he slides across the table, a bowl of ice cream. And the kid goes, wow, ice cream? Didn't see that coming. I figured you guys would be upset because I called my father and tipped him off. And Agent Gibbs said, no, nah, I understand. I'm just trying to help him out. And the kid asked him, you don't think he did it, did you? And Agent Gibbs is working on that. That's one of his phrases earlier in the running of NCIS. And I won't give up the rest of the story because it's a good episode. You gotta watch it to see how it ends for yourself. But I wanna talk to you about that phrase, didn't see that coming. There are a lot of things in life that happen to us that seem to be certain to go one way. That's gonna be against us for the negative. But all of a sudden, something twists and turns around. And wow, because we say, well, didn't see that coming. It's like going to a courtroom and it just seems as if the defendant is guilty. All the evidence is pointing towards them. There's no way they're gonna get out of this. Then surely you're going to jail. And all of a sudden, some evidence turns up that flips the whole case upside down and the defendant is exonerated. And a lot of people are like, wow, didn't see that coming. I thought for sure they were going to jail. But at the last second, that evidence came in that exonerated that person from a certain death sentence. 
not destined, but jail sentence. So when we look at ourselves and the sinful nature this world was in and is, is still in, and the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. So because of the sins we've committed, because of the wrongdoings we've committed, we are surely facing a certain death. But because of Jesus' love for us, he came down into this dark, miserable, sinful, gruesome world. And he's shown his light to give us a new hope and a new future in him and through him. And because he did not want any longer for his sin, for our sins, to be the barrier that separated him from us and us from him, he came down and took our place and what sin was destined for us and died for us. And that brings us to today's feature song. It's a song that I contributed and attributed to C.C. Winans. But it turns out it was written and composed by Greg Long. And so I got him, I found a version of him singing his own song and the song is entitled, Mercy Said No. And I love the chorus. This chorus says, Mercy Said No. I'm not gonna let you go. I'm not gonna let you slip away. I will, so you don't have to be afraid. And that's what, that's what our sinful nature is like. We, we were, like I said before, we were destined to certain death, but because he came down and took our place and took on the penalty of sin for us, his mercy said no. His mercy said absolutely not. Singer, songwriter, and gospel singer, Lonnie Hunter said it this way in one of his songs. He said, grace and mercy. Grace is getting more than you deserve. Mercy is not necessarily getting what you do deserve. Because of our sinful state, we deserve to die. But Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And because of his love for us, his mercy said, nope, you're not gonna die. He's not gonna let this happen. Like I said before, that's that wall, that barrier, that sin put between us and Jesus. He said, no more. My mercy says, no, no more. I'm not gonna let you go. I'm not gonna let you slip away because of sinful nature. I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna set, shed my blood and cover your sins. And that's so grateful that he did. So I wanna encourage you on today. Yes, we do stumble. Yes, we do fall. Yes, we do make mistakes. And we are often in the place of expecting the punishment for what we've done. What we should be so grateful that we serve a God that looks at us, not for what we've done, but how he sees us, how he created us. So he continues to send his grace and mercy to us every day and say, no, I'm not gonna let you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay by your side. Now you will have to be punished for what you did, but I'm not condemning you to death. I'm gonna keep you close to me. I'm gonna keep you wrapped up in my arms. I'm not gonna let you go. My mercy said, no, I'm not gonna let you go. That's not gonna be the end all be all for us. I'm not letting you go. It reminds me of when I was at college at Furman, the wide receivers and the football players and the quarterbacks walked around with a football in their hand. Every class they went, they had a football. And the defensive players were instructed, whenever you see them, it's your job to punch that football out and take that ball from them. And so they will walk from class to class holding on to a football. I had a couple of classes with, a, with uh, some football players and they always had that football. They couldn't even sit it beside them in class. They had to hold on to it in class because the people who knew them that weren't football players were also instructed, take the ball, take the ball, take the ball. And they were supposed to hold on to that ball and not let go. That's what this song describes about God's love, grace, and mercy towards us. He said, no. I'm not going to let you go. I'm not going to let the sinful nature, I'm not going to let sin snatch you away. I'm going to hold on to you. I'm going to take I'm going to take any option that sin has away from claiming you for death and I'm going to say no. I'm going to cover you with my blood. I'm going to cover you with my grace. I'm going to protect you with my mercy and I say no. You will no longer have any part of this Satan. You will never have any more part of this. So I say no. You can't have them anymore. That's what God's grace, mercy, and love is saying towards us. And that's what he wants to remind us every day. He loves us that much that he gave his life for us. And he said, I'm not going to let you go. In sports, it's called snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. We were destined to death. But because of Jesus' love for us and him dying on the cross for us, he snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. And because of that, 
we are victorious through Jesus Christ because his mercy said no. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you that your compassions fail not and they are renewed every morning. And we thank you that your faithfulness, your faithfulness is great. It's great and mighty. And we just thank you for your love that you continue to show us, even though sometimes we don't show it towards you. Your love is so strong towards us. We thank you and we praise you for never giving up on us, for not allowing sin, the sinful nature to be that wall that divides us. We thank you for your love for us. And we thank you for never letting us go. We thank you in Jesus name. Amen. Before we go, we're going to wish some happy birthday to a few people out there. Happy birthday to Levi Brewer. Brewer. Forgive me, Levi. I don't know what's going on. I have tongue tied today. But happy birthday to Levi Brewer. Happy birthday to Michaela Sarver. And happy birthday to Laura Harrington. Laura, Levi, and Michaela, I hope you all have a very blessed birthday. May God bless you with many more and enjoy your birthday today. Now that's gonna do it for today's edition of The Daily Pause. But before we go, I want to remind you that the voting for match 14 in the, the choir bracket of the Daily Pause Inspirational Music Tournament ends at 8 p.m. today. And after that, I will re reveal the results for both match 13 and 14, because that will be the finals for the choir bracket. And it's going to look, it looks as of right now, it's going to be a very, very interesting matchup. It's going to be a very great matchup. So stay, stay tuned for that. Keep on, be on the lookout for that video coming later on today. And the voting for that will end tomorrow, tomorrow night. And I'll reveal the results of the choir bracket on Monday. Just a, another reminder, on Sunday, the first upper, the upper half of the qu of quartet bracket will be revealed and we can start our voting tomorrow on that as well. So keep your eyes peeled out for that. Now, thank you for your support in the Daily Pause Inspirational Music Tournament. Still not too late to get in and jump in on any of the voting. You can leave your votes in the comment section wherever you're watching this video. You can tweet them to me at gregbrooklyn 78 You can answer either of the polls on Facebook or on Twitter. You can Facebook message me your vote. You can email me your vote at gregwilkins 78 these buds keep coming out. I don't understand why, but <laughs> gotta love technology sometimes. And Or you can text me at 864-706-5916. Hope, uh, once again, I thank you for your participation. I hope that you continue to vote. It's a really, really neat little idea. And I hope you're being blessed by it. In the meantime, continue to love each other. Continue to be safe. And remember, every day, there's every day, every day, there's always time to take a pause. And Lord willing, I will see you again on tomorrow. Enjoy today's feature song, Mercy Said No, by Greg Long from the album, Jesus Saves, released in 1998 by Murr Records, a division of Word Entertainment. And I found this on his YouTube channel. So check him out for this song and many other encouraging and inspirational songs. I'll get my language right eventually. And I thank you all for your love and support. I thank you for your prayers. And I hope that you have a very blessed day on today. Today's feature song starts right now. Continue to love each other. Be blessed out there. And God bless. Just a child when I felt the Savior leading. I was drawn to what I could not understand. And for the cause of Christ, I'd spend my days believing. That what he'd have me be is who I am. As I've come to see the side of me I've realized His grace is what I need When sin demanded justice for my soul Mercy said no I'm not gonna let you go I'm not gonna let you slip away You don't have to be afraid